So in the last couple of minutes that we have left, um, well, you mentioned you're going to some Bitcoin conference. Mm. Uh, has that, uh, has your thinking evolved on Bitcoin f- fixing this where this could be anything from uh, any nuclei? <laughs> I love and, those uh, guys. I know you because do. One of the reasons is that we fought. We went through this whole sort of interpersonal drama stupidity. Mm-hmm. Then they got kicked in the teeth when the, pr- the price of Bitcoin relative to fiat went down. And they realized that I wasn't their enemy. I was their friend. I mean, I'm not, I'm not one of them. I'm not putting on the laser eyes, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I want them to be the big dogs. At least they're excited about life. They're excited about something that's new. And a lot of them have made money. And sooner or later, you know, one of the things I took this guy, Robert Breedlove, who's one of the big Bitcoin guys, uh, yeah. to the University of Chicago. I wanted to show him what happens when you look at academic economics uh, from the point of view of a different academic subject. Anytime these guys want to, they can start endowing chairs in universities to make sure that professors are present who can say no. What I'm trying to say is we're acting powerless. And we're acting like we have an infinite amount of time and we don't. And what, what, what we need is we need a tiny number of the world's smartest, richest people to wake up and recognize you're all going to die and you're not going to be able to take that with you. You could at least figure out um, how to maybe save all of humanity and your descendants because there's a huge thank you uh, for whoever it is that actually steps up to the plate. I don't know what they're doing. We, 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 we've produced the wrong elite for sure. 